you know, relationships are such a big part of our lives. Now realize this, that nobody can make you happy, but it really takes one person to make you unhappy. And therefore, we know that our happiness or our joy really depends upon how content we are in the Lord. But when we have an Alexander the coppersmith like the Apostle Paul had, one person in your life can make your life very miserable. Look at what Proverbs says in Proverbs 13, verse 20. He who walks with the wise shall become wise, but the companion of fools will be destroyed. So I wanted to look at a few takeaways that we can get from that. He who walks with a wise, in other words, he who follows a wise person. If I'm walking with you, wherever you walk, I'm following you. In other words, the person who follows a wise person, there will be wisdom that will be transferred onto the one who is doing the following. So my willingness to follow wise people allows God to transfer wisdom into my life. And then it says, but the companion of the fool will be destroyed. It doesn't say... The person who follows a foolish person will become foolish. It says the companion, the one who hangs with fools, will be completely destroyed. There's a severe outcome for those people who are willing to hang with foolish people. Very important for us to realize that there's a transference that takes place within relationships. So here we see a transference of wisdom. But in the life of Moses... Uh, we see a transference of leadership onto Joshua. Uh, we see that Elijah and Elisha, there was a transference of the power of God. We see uh, the Apostle Paul and Timothy, there was a transference in ministry. So when we follow wise people, when we walk with the wise, God is able to reach us. So God is going to send people into your life this year. They may not be enjoyable people, but they may be the people who uh, are wise, leaders, people in ministry, people who carry the anointing and the, and the power of God in their lives. So always be aware of the fact and ask the question, God, is this person a person that you have sent into my life? If so, make sure to make yourself available and willing to receive from God through that relationship. Now, you might say, Jacques, but how in the world do I know this person is from God or that this person is not from God? It's simple. You have to ask yourself, is this person encouraging me to get closer to God? Or is this person helping me trivialize the things of God? That's it. That's how you know. Ask yourself that question about the people that you hang with, the people that you follow, the people who influence your life. Are they causing you to put a greater emphasis or greater value a greater worth on the things of God, the Word of God, the work of God, the voice of God, the wisdom of God, or are they kind of trivializing it? Now, if somebody's causing you to drift from God, you know that person's not from God. So you have to make sure that God can reach you this year. Make yourself available to the people that He has sent into your life. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. We hope that you're blessed by these video messages my husband Jacques is putting out. If so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're watching on Facebook, be sure to like and follow. We love you, we're praying for you, and thanking God for His plans and purposes to prosper in your life.